Now we will start the lesson on uh, possessive endings. So in Persian there are six different endings for singular and plural. And these endings they have different functions. One of the uh, one of the functions they have is to form a, pos a possessive noun. So whenever these endings are uh, connected to a noun, that noun is possessive. Let's look at some examples. For for example, we have the word kitab. Uh, now, if we can uh, attach one of these uh, endings to it, we have kitab bam. Means my book. The same for others. Kitab bam, my book. Kitab bad, your book, singular. Kitab bash, his or her book. Now the plural form. Kitab beman, our book. Kitab betan, your book, plural. And the last one, Kitab be shan, their book. Kitabam, Kitabat, Kitabash, Kitabeman, Kitabetan, Kitabeshan. So these personal endings. Whenever they are attached to a noun, they are, uh, they uh, they make that noun a possessive. Uh, they are like they uh, function like a possessive adjective, like what we saw. So there are uh, some points to know. The first one is that there is a difference in the spoken and written Persian. Here, as uh, you see, we pronounce this kitab bat at. The ending is at. But in a spoken Persian is it. So in the spoken Persian it's uh, pronounced keta bit. So a changes to a. The same with the third person singular. Keta bash, his or her book changes to keta bash. So kitab bat, written, kitab bet, spoken, kitab bash, written form, kitab bash, spoken form. Yeah, always you hear this form, ish or et, kitab bet, kitab bash. And for this one, uh, in a spoken form, in, in written form, they are man, tan, and shan. In a spoken form, man. And in general, on changes to un. For example, kitab man changes to kitab moon. Kitab tan changes to kitab tun. And Kitabeshun changes to Kitabeshun. Kitabeshun, Kitabeshun. Kitabetan, Kitabetun. Kitabeman, Kitabemun. Our book, your book, and their book. Another point uh, is that in order to memorize this, uh, the singular form and the plural form. As you know, in Persian, one of the signs, uh, one of the ways to form a plural noun is to add the, the suffix an. Now here he, we have mim te she. Now if you add that suffix to this mim te she, 
you have the plural forms of uh, the personal uh, the endings in farsi me with an changes to man for our te changes to tan and she changes to shan and all of them in a spoken change to un man changes to moon tan tun and shan shun that was the lesson on uh, personal uh, on endings when they are in the place of a possessive adjective